going into 2022 in just a few days, we had a lot of great games that came out this year in 2021, and I thought I'd share my top five favorite games that were overlooked this year. So before I get started, I would also like to give three channel shoutouts. One is to Justin Stout Plays, the other is Wavy Cricket, and the final one is Brosev. I will have all their channels linked in the description below. Please go over there and subscribe to them and show some support. But other than that, let's get started. I grew up with a lot of side scrolling beat em up games such as Streets of Rage and Shattered Hand, so Fist Forge and Shadow's Torch brought me back to a lot of those days on a modern day console such as my PS5, and I had a great time playing through this game. I am going to probably play through it again and probably get the platinum achievement, but I felt like this was a definitely an overlooked game of 2021. It was talked about possibly only for a week and then it was kind of out the window then. But I also got a lot of Contra like feels from this where you're using the weapons and upgrading the weapons as well. So if you can, get it on sale now from the PlayStation Store. If you're on PC, you can definitely get it off of Steam as well. I believe there's a sale going on for it. So yeah, please check this game out. Please do not sleep on this one. Next on the list, we have Demon Turf. Now, this is a unique 3D platformer, and when you look at it, the first thing you probably think of is probably Parappa the Rapper or Um Lummy Gem because the graphics looks identical. But in a lot of ways, it also brings me back to a lot of Sega Saturn games that I played in the past, possibly the RPGs with the art style. But this is a very great game to play. I haven't finished it completely yet, but I'm almost done with the game, and I've been playing it a lot lately, so I think it's okay for me to put this on the list of one of my top five or look games of 2021 now you can actually get this on the switch you can also get it on steam it's also available on the ps4 and the 5 as long as as well as xbox for my third pick, I'm choosing Solar Ash. Now, it's no secret that I love platformers, but this alone just doesn't feel like a platformer. There's a lot of hack and slash elements, and there's definitely a lot of puzzles you have to resolve in this game, especially when it comes to boss battles. I really didn't die as much in this game, but what I had the most difficulty with is the timing when it came to a lot of the boss battles. So, um, this is definitely a great game to play. Pick it up if it's on sale on the PlayStation Store. It's available on PS4 and PlayStation 5. It's also available on Windows as well. Please don't sleep on this game. For my fourth pick, I chose Poison Control. Now, I'm very selective about a lot of action role-playing games nowadays because I want to avoid burnout as much as possible, but this one was pretty nice to play. It only has five levels in it, but when I first played through it, I didn't know what the hell was going on, and I actually had to play through it again to understand the story and take time to read the cutscenes because the language is in Japanese. But it revolves around you selecting a male or female character, and the goal is to purify the hearts of five different women in the game in order to escape hell. Uh, you go through a lot of obstacles and a lot of craziness, but I really enjoyed the game a lot. So definitely pick this one up. I, when I got it, it was only 20 bucks. Uh, it might be lower, but it's only available on the Switch and the PlayStation 4. Now before I cover my number one pick, I would like to give an honorable mention to Tormented Souls. Now unfortunately I cannot rank this game because I haven't beat it nor do I own it yet, but I did get a chance to play it on my friend's high-end PC, but I didn't get a chance to finish it when I played through it, but I played through it a majority of it, and I enjoyed it a lot. If you're familiar with the old school survival horror such as Alone in the Dark and the original Resident Evil with the fixed camera angle, this will definitely bring you back to that. I can't wait till this game actually comes out on the PlayStation 4, and the Switch, and the Xbox One because I actually would like to play it on the Switch instead of PlayStation 5. It's only available on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and PC as of now. But if you're familiar, if you love Clock Tower games, you love Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and many other horror classics, definitely give this game a go. For my number one pick, I chose Aliens Fireteam Elite. I feel like this game was strongly overlooked and it kind of got that. Resident Evil uh, Operation Raccoon City treatment. I feel like this game was strongly overlooked because a lot of people were possibly expecting that this was going to be similar to Alien Isolation and that was completely a survival horror game. But this one is specifically an action based game and I will admit some of the levels can be repetitive and I do not recommend playing this by yourself unless you are okay with that. Find your little community to play this with. That's how I played it and enjoyed it. Um, it does get boring after a while if you're just playing with NPCs and CPUs. So definitely, like I said before, uh, find a community. It shouldn't be as complicated now because it's now been added to Xbox Game Pass so you can pick it up for free. But uh, please give this one a chance as well. There's poss possibly some sales on it as well. That's pretty much it for my top 5 favorite games that I felt that were overlooked in 2021. Please let me know in the comments below what your top 5 favorite games were that you felt were overlooked this year. 
Other than that, this is Drex and I am out, and I'm wishing everyone a peaceful 2022. This is Drex, and I am out. It's not that I'm over you